Hey everyone, this is Andrew of Plainview Farm, and my M Farm all back here has been giving me some trouble recently whenever it comes to starting. I think I figured out the problem. First thing I need to do is grab a three quarter inch wrench. Um, that's the one. Next. It's actually chore time, so I'm probably going to get a lot of cattle making noise. And also, as you can see here on the ground, it's kind of soupy. We had some snow yesterday. It's all melted already, as you can see, looking out there. But we did get a little dusting of snow. So I guess I'll give you just a little bit of backstory. Uh, actually, yesterday I came out here to feed hay when it was snowing and tractor wouldn't start. So I ended up just pulling the bale spear off of the tractor, pulling the bale off. There wasn't much left. It was just, you know, part of a bale. And I rolled the bale out here uh, off to, uh, I guess what's my right over here, um, so the cows could finish it off, which they did last night, finished off most of it and then laid in the rest, which is natural, I guess. But <clears throat> what's happening is, whenever I try to start the tractor, sometimes, doesn't do it all the time, I'll hit the key and it will click, okay? Which I initially thought the starter was bad. I uh, thought I had a problem with the solenoid. I uh, thought I had a problem with the starter. Worked my way through it and then, you know, checked everything out, pulled the starter off, uh, looked at everything. Everything seemed to be just fine, so I put it back on the starter was working. Well, then it did it again, okay? So I pulled the starter off, looked at it, tested everything out, seemed to be working just fine. And so I put it back on and it did it yesterday. As I said just a moment ago, uh, turned the key and just got a click. So like I said, I think I've got it figured out and I'm gonna show you what I, what I came up with here. So I've got the battery unhooked, so I'm not worried about anything happening there. I'm just going to take the starter off. I don't think the battery needs to be recharged. I mentioned in previous videos that I mentioned in previous videos that I've been having to take the battery off and put it on a charger. Alternator's not working, and actually I think somewhere, it could even be the starter, I guess, is drawing down power. Battery will die if I leave it hooked up. So, run it for a few days, then I'll put it back on the charger. Just a couple days ago, I was at 100%, so I don't know why I need to charge it. I shouldn't need to. But we'll find out in just a minute, I guess. So, pulled starter out. And once we get it out, We're going to spin the armature around just a touch. Doesn't take much, just a little bit. And reinstall it. So as I'm putting this back on, let me, I guess, do some explaining here. I think there's a bad spot in the armature on this starter. And whenever I say that it's got a bad spot, it could be a flat spot, that it's out around, you know, anything like that. This starter right here was on the starter, or I mean this starter right here was on the tractor when I bought it. And it is a cheap, um, imported, I'll put it that way, uh, part. And I was told that these, from time to time, can have armatures in them that are either bad or 
are out of round. So what that means is whenever tractor gets started, if the armature stops on that bad spot, then it won't start the next time. got it snug again. Next we will hook up the battery make sure it's out of gear oh turn on the fuel and see if it starts. not. Hook up the battery. Make sure it's in neutral. And that's what it's doing. Oh no. Well, maybe we need to spin it some more. I guess we'll take it off again. I know. Making you wait. Okay. Now, let's spin it again. Now, if this time it doesn't work, I'm not sure what to do. Second time's the charm. Okay. Battery's hooked up again. Choke it. Still out of gear. Okay, so apparently I'm wrong. There's probably something else wrong inside that starter. I thought for sure that was it, but it's not. So I guess in today's video we'll be pitching hay to the cows. So, I'll gather up our strings here. I'll tie them in a knot. I don't know if you can see where I'm at right here, but gather all the strings up, tie them in a knot. outer layer looks rough on this bale.
Uh, there's a couple straggler strings here. Gather them up. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull off this outer layer. At least partially. And use my little rake here. And then we just pitch it over to the cows. And no, I'm not using a pitchfork. I guess I could, but uh, keep this handy. And so that's what I use. Push this bale back over. Of course, it would have been nice to do this with the tractor, but uh, eh, sometimes you just have to do what you can to, uh, to get by. Oh well, we'll uh, just have to figure something else out. I, I do have an old starter. Uh, that fits this M, but it needs to be rebuilt. So that's that's probably where we're going to go next. Also, went and got a load of feed today, so I'm going to fill going to fill our barrels up, and then we'll feed the pigs. So I've discovered that one of these barrels will hold six, seven bags of feed. Six. 
Phoenix. All right, there we go. There we go, six bags, 300 pounds in that 55 gallon drum. We'll lock this one back up. I'm sure you can hear the pigs squealing. They know what I'm doing. And we'll put the rest of it in there. I got 500 pounds. So, I only have four bags to go in here. Now we'll feed the pigs. How'd you get out of there? And now the big pigs. It is absolutely a nasty mess out here. Well, this one definitely didn't go the way that I had planned, but I guess that's the nature of farming, the nature of life, I guess, really, isn't it? Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. But at the end of the day, you still got to get stuff done, I guess. Like I said earlier, I'm going to have to get that old starter rebuilt, and uh, hopefully that'll take care of that problem. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video for what it was. I... Uh, I appreciate you watching, as I always say, and I guess we'll see you next time.